Hello guys, this is Honor Gaming, and today I'm going to be talking specifically about the rocket mortars and possibly this content can be very helpful for you if you're working on your rocket mortars or also in the future you're planning to get the rocket mortars. Okay, so now if I tell you straight up what I think about the rocket mortars, I think that it's very OP, OP meaning overpowered, and I do believe and hopefully uh, I'm also hoping that the rocket mortars will be somewhat nerfed in the future. Now, as you guys know, I've recently started playing with rocket mortars. I'm really enjoying it, and I think it's a, it's a great weapon. Okay, there's nothing you know. It's it's a you know overall, it's a five star weapon. Okay, it's a top quality weapon. Everyone and most all pro players really do have the rocket mortars in their hangar, and it's always ready to launch. Now the problem with the rocket mortars is that it is a little bit overpowered right now and it is definitely changing up the meta of the game a little bit too much compared to the other weapons. So let's actually talk about the rocket mortars and I will give you I'll go into a little bit of details, all right, including the implants, the best implants for a rocket mortars, uh, obviously the pilots, which mech I think is the best to use rocket mortars. And also then I'm going to give you some in-game uh, battle tips using the rocket mortars and how to use it, okay? So let's start with the rocket mortars itself. Uh, let's actually go here into the inventory. Now let's talk about the rocket mortar weapon itself first. So if you go to the bottom here, uh, there's a artillery, artillery, sorry, artillery section. There's currently three types of rocket mortars available. So three types of artillery, okay? First is the rocket mortar eights which obviously means that it will use eight energy capacity. There's the rocket mortar 10s, and then you got the rocket mortar 12. Now, I'll be honest with you, and I'm talking about really at the end game or mid to end game scenario, you don't really need the rocket mortar eight, you don't need the rocket mortar 10, you just wanna work on your rocket mortar 12. The reason is because the rocket mortar 12s obviously have a, a much higher damage at max rank, and also basically, you know, uh, 12, is the energy capacity so when you dual equip rocket mortar 12s that equals 24 and most of the mechs that are using rocket mortars are best used with rocket mortars are at 24 plus it's there the mechs are either 24 or 36 max uh, energy capacity so if you ask me you know honor should i get uh you know rocket mortar 8 10 or 12 i will simply tell you right now if, even if you're you know, a free-to-play player, I would just tell you right now, just go straight with Rocket Mortars 12s if you can, and work on building it to at least rank six, where you can dual equip it, if you see here. At rank six, you get equip limit increase, which means you get the ability to dual equip it, so you get an extra set. And then you'll basically be able to equip it on your 24 plus energy capacity mechs, okay? And right now, as you can see mine, it's at uh, rank six, level four, and am I going to max it out? Absolutely, okay? So this is the weapon itself. Now, let's take a look at, secondly, let's take a look at what mechs are best used with the Rocket Mortar 12. Under assuming that you have dual equip, meaning you need 24 energy capacity, okay? So first of all, you got the attacker mechs here, Paragon, Panther, Arachnos, Guardian, Stalker, and Redox. Now, uh, mo most of the, uh, actually all of the attacker mechs here, once you max out these mechs, for example, Paragon, you get the energy capacity of 32. This is uh, the same with all your attacker mechs, okay? Uh, except a couple. For example, Paragon is 32, Panther is 32, Arachnos is 32, if you see here. Uh, Guardian is 20, uh, sorry, Guardian is 32. It's a very versatile mech. Stalker is one attacker mech that you get 24, okay? And then you got Redox with 32. So like I said, most of the attacker mechs, uh, now that stalkers here, I'll say use the word most of the attacker mechs have an energy capacity of 32, except stalker, which is maxed out at 24, okay? Which isn't enough to utilize the rocket mortar. So now, out of these attacker mechs here, what do I recommend? Okay, Pan Paragon as a mech itself, we should take out of the equation because it's not an end game mech. Uh, you can know from my previous one hour best investment ever uh, video. Panther is definitely an end game top tier mech. So yes, Panther is an option. Arachnos, I'm sorry for you, Arachnos. 
uh, lovers, but it is definitely not a top tier mech. We all can admit that, as of now at least. So this is definitely not the mech that you want to use it on. Uh, for However, for the free-to-play players, uh, you can dual equip it simply at rank 5 with the Arachno, so this is an option. Paragon, uh, sorry, Guardian is a, definitely a top tier mech, and I think that this would be a possible option. However, I just don't see the Rocket Mortar uh, being, uh, you know, used efficiently with the Guardian uh, System Crash, right? Because the System Crash uh, skill itself is for, uh, you know, uh, you know, close quarter battle, right? So I don't think it's the best mech for it, but however, it is an option. Stalker, right now I'm just gonna tell you is probably one of the top three mechs to use the rocket mortars on. And the reason is because of Predator Drive. Now, once you use Predator Drive, there's two things that happen. First thing is you get a 50% damage increase. So if you see here on the right, it says mech bonus damage plus 50%, which means that you get a boosted 50% damage increase on yourself, and then you, uh, although you do, you get that buff, you also get an incoming damage bonus, which means that you get 25% more damage when you're on Predator Drive. But when you're using Rocket Mortars, it basically means that the opponents are not seeing, they, they, can't, they have no visibility on you, and plus they're not, you're, in, you're not in a battle mode, okay? You're just basically shooting from far away. So it really doesn't matter that you get that extra damage uh, from the opponents. So basically, it's like a simply a free 50% buff, okay? So it's definitely a great mech to use. Redox, once again, guys, since the max energy capacity is 32, you can start using Redox immediately when you get it, right? However, it's very difficult to upgrade afterwards, which doesn't matter with your rocket mortars. So Redox is an option, but once again, the problem why Redox is not a great mech with the rocket mortars is because the ability Caustic Blast is also AoE, and it has nothing to do with the rocket mortars, uh, you know, which are being used from far away. So Redox is definitely a possible mech that could equip it because of energy capacity, but not your first choice. All right, so let's look at some other ones. Lancer, as you guys know, cannot reach even 24, so it's not a possible option. Killshot, yes, this is one of the pro players' favorite. Okay, a lot of the high, uh, you know, um, should I say the, the skilled players love using it on Killshot for two reasons. First of all, Killshot has the dash ability, so which means that the dash ability will take care of any mechs that are close range, and then your rocket mortars will be used for far range battle. Okay, so that's the first reason. The second reason is because when you're facing against other pro players, like I told you, rocket mortars is a, a favorite of most pro players. Therefore, kill shots dash ability will allow you to dodge almost any opponent's uh, rocket mortars that they're shooting at you. Okay, so this is definitely a good option. And like I said, there's top three mechs. Kill shot is one of them. Shadow. You cannot equip it, okay? Once again, max, it will be give you only 16 energy capacity. Surge, um, yes, if you max it out, you get 24, but I just have no reason how you can use your, uh, you know, storm dash with uh, rocket mortars, I don't know. You could equip on it with, when it's maxed out, but I just don't see how. <laughs> okay, now Juggernaut, yes, you can equip it when you max it out, but I just don't see, once again, any reason to. Ares, the same with Juggernaut, yes, you can equip it. Now this brick house here, is one of the top three mechs and once again it's very similar to the stalker but when you use overcharger you get that 50 percent uh, mech bonus damage here if you see on the right side it says mech bonus damage plus 50 percent so basically brick house is definitely a great option for you okay i'm gonna move on a little bit faster with this okay guys uh zephyr uh cheetah md md you can't equip cheetah you can't equip but zephyr you get max when you max it out you get 24 yes it's an option once again you got the uh, shock pulse, which gives you AOE stun, but I just can't see what, how, and you know how it's helpful for your rocket mortar. So I don't think it's a good option. So if I wrap it up, guys, basically the th top three that I think are basically Panther, Stalker, uh, sorry, Stalker, Kill Shot, and Brick House. Okay, Stalker, Kill Shot, Brick House. These are your top three mechs that you want to use it. Uh, if I give you a very simple description, Stalker and Brick House, will you get that 50% buff when you use the skill? So your rocket mortar damage will increase, which is perfect. And then Kill Shot, the kill uh, dash skill, right? Your melee dash will allow you to dodge and also take care of uh, close quarter battles, which your rocket mortars are completely vulnerable to. So these are your mech options. Now, guys, let's let's look at the implant options that are available. So let me tell you first what I think is the best uh, without considering what your what uh, mech you're using the rocket mortars on, okay? So let's just look purely on the weapon standpoint. So first of all here, guys, uh, there are two legendary um, 
implants available for your rocket mortars. One here is the rocket mortar damage legendary implant. If you max it out, you get a 30% increase, which is huge, guys. And consider, like I told you, imagine that you have it on your uh, brick house or your kill uh, or your stalker, which when you're using the buff, that means you get another 50%. So you're already at 80%. And this is not even including the pilot buff that you get maybe almost 30% damage increase just from your pilots when it's maxed out. So that means you're over 100, you're like 110, 120% uh, damage increase on your rocket mortars, okay? So guys, not considering those, this rocket mortar implant legendary is already just immensely 30% increase, okay? That is huge, that is a must there. Second must, 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 and I think this is actually currently the top implant in the game available is the rocket mortar radius. Why? Because basically guys, when you max it out at level six, you get a 66% rocket mortar damage radius increase. Now, what does this mean is basically rocket mortars do an AOE damage. But as you guys know, if your opponent starts moving away immediately when you start shooting the rocket mortars, he has about a three second uh, time to run away which is enough to get away from most rocket mortar damages. However, if you meet a player, like for example, I have this implant here. If you meet a player and I have a 66% maxed out uh, implant here, I get a 66% damage radius increase, which means my rocket mortar AOE has a 66% uh, further AOE damage range, which means that if the opponent starts moving and they're a slow mech like Juggernaut or Ares or some slower mechs like those, or Brick House even, they're not gonna be ha uh, have enough time in that two, three seconds to run away from my rocket mortars and boom, they're gonna get hit eventually, especially with this implant. So this is a must, guys. Now there's a third um, uh, weapon implant that is relevant to rocket mortars that uh, is possibly an option, but I do not recommend it. And let me try to find it over here. It is actually only available, not even in epic, not even in legendary, but only in the rare form. And if you see here, it's actually, oops, sorry, I'm gonna have to block you there. Sorry, it's nothing personal. Um, it's actually the rocket mortar range. Now, what this means is it doesn't mean that, uh, if you see here, decreases rocket mortar minimum range. What that means is basically, it doesn't mean that your rocket mortars, you can shoot further away because rocket mortars itself has enough long range, okay? It's not really a big issue. The pro, uh, this basically means that if I max it out, I get a 12% decreased minimum range, which means that I can shoot from closer range, okay? Because the rocket mortars itself, you can't shoot the rocket mortars at an opponent that is right in front of your face, okay? Even mid-range, there's a limit. So if you have this, you get a minus 12% minimum range increase, okay? So basically, it's somewhat useless, in my personal opinion, so I don't think you should go with those. Now, what I think you should go with after you get those two legendary mechs uh, legendary implants, the radius and also the rocket mortar damage, you, which you should both uh, definitely uh, max out, I think you should work on the other mech relevant uh, legendary implants. So for example, if you're using kill shot, you would probably want to use kill shot dash damage, or if I'm using stalker or brick house, uh, since the stalker and brick house skill, which gives you a buff on the damage for your rocket mortars, uh, has a higher uh, a, mm, cooldown than your rocket mortar uh, weapon cooldown. So basically, I would want to use something like, you know, for example, this is an option, but also ability cooldown. And I can max this out, I get a minus 30%. So basically, I can use my mech a buff almost every single time uh, that I use my rocket mortar. So I think ability cooldown maxed out is also a very good option here as a legendary implant. Um, and the rest of it is really up to what mech you're using. But just remember guys, there's only two mechs, uh, two weapon, uh, more rocket mortar relevant legendary implants that you should uh, consider maxing out. And that's rocket mortar damage. And also right here, rocket mortar radius, which is a top tier S class implant that you should be having. Now guys, with that said, I think I covered basically the two most important things is basically what mech is best with rocket mortars. Secondly, what implants are best. So let's actually go into the game. And let me try to show you a couple tips. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into a uh, tournament round, okay? Just to show you a little bit much easier on the uh, rocket mortar tips, okay? So with the rocket mortar tips, I mean, it's really the way you use it. But uh, I think 
most of the tips that I share or that many other uh, you know, YouTube creators may share are pretty obvious things, okay, on the way you should use rocket mortars. But I'm just gonna go give you a little bit of a more advanced tip uh, that may be helpful for you, hopefully. If you know it already, good for you, okay? But if you don't, I'm gonna show you with using Stalker. And the reason why I like using Stalker uh, with the rocket mortars, okay, paired with the rocket mortars, and obviously I got the Fey uh, uh, pilot on. But let's, let me show you a couple things here. All right, so first thing first, I try to get visibility, okay, right there. Now, I'm gonna shoot one, and then I'm gonna change my uh, target, and I'm gonna shoot the second. Boom, 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 I got a triple kill right here, right from the beginning. So in the beginning of the game, you definitely wanna get that visibility. You don't wanna use both rocket mortars at the same opponent, okay? So right now, I'm holding on. I shot one to Carnita, I shot one to Sengoku. Okay, this is the first tip I'm gonna share with you. All right, the second tip I'm gonna show you right now, guys, is this. And this is the number one important thing if you wanna be a pro player with the rocket mortars. It's, it's that I'm not using uh, I'm not using my screen to target, I'm actually using my mini-map. Now guys, if you look at the top left screen here, it, uh, after I get visibility, I have to know the map to a certain degree. So watch guys, I'm gonna use, right now, Finger Brunson is right there, I'm already seeing the mini-map, and I know that I can hit him. What I mean by that, I can hit him, and I'm using the mini-map, is since I know this map to a certain degree, I know where they are they can take cover so for example if you look here do you see me on the mini map on the top left look at this guys i'm under something okay so if you look on the top here even if i shoot rocket mortars at an, at, at an opponent who's standing under this my rocket mortars would not hit the opponent so right now look at this right there if i look at the top left screen finger brunson right there is vulnerable veer right there is under the roof so i shot at him you see even though i got a clear shot it's not hitting. Why? Because Veer is under, he is actually inside this container here. You see, he's right here. So basically, no matter how many times I shoot at him, I'll never be able to hit him. So like, look at this, Carnita, he's on the bridge, on the minimap. It, I'm not even looking at his screen. I'm not looking at him from the screen. But as a Rocket Mortar player, you had to learn the map. You had to know where it hits. Look guys, right there, I'm just playing with the minimap, not with my visual. So look at this, Carnita is over there. Boom, right there, he is gonna get hit, watch. Boom, right there. Sengoku and Paradishi right there, Sengoku is vulnerable, look at this. Right there, boom, 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 double kill. I'm not using my visual screen, guys. I'm not using my screen. I'm actually using the mini-map, okay? Right there, Paradishi is gonna get hit. Carnita is right over there, Carnita is vulnerable. Veer is also vulnerable, he's come out to try to get some kills, boom, right there. Look at that, guys. I'm using the mini-map, and that's the biggest tip I wanna give you here for Easy. any player who wants to become a serious pro player with this rocket mortars. Don't practice using the visual screen. The visual screen is only there to be your secondary guide, okay? So right here, Carnita is vulnerable. Paradishi is vulnerable. Right there, boom, there we go, boom, there we go. Double, uh, two kills with one, um, two shots from my rocket mortars, okay? So look at me. I see these two right there stuck together. Finger Brunson and Veer, they're both vulnerable. Veer is also vulnerable right there. Shot my vulnerable. Carnita right there, not enough range. Paradishi right there. Paradishi, boom, there we go, guys. Every single one of my rocket mortars, I am looking at the screen on the top left. In, uh, looking at my screen there. Okay, Veer is coming in with, the, with his kill shot, so I'm gonna move away. Paradishi over there, right there, shot it. Veer trying to get me down, Paradishi got the kill there we go guys all right he's trying to come in he's dashing in he's got uh, uh, arc torrents he's gonna kill me right here i think all right there we go that was a great play from veer by the way player veer just if you ever see this video just saying that's smart all right but anyways guys i think that's a great uh i think that would be giving you a really good head start on how the pro players are playing okay here we go sengoku right there kill him paradishi dash it out boom there we go Straight into their face with my kill shot, turning around, getting that damage. Once again, guys, I'm playing with 100 sensitivity on my camera. There we go, same Goku there. Boom, there we go, got the kill. Moving in quick, and that's it. All right, here we go, Paradishi there with his uh, Juggernaut. Oh, Veer there with his uh, long arms. Anyways, guys, just once again, guys, two tips, uh, in-game play tips that I can give you regarding the rocket mortars. One is basically use one of your side and then use your second on another opponent. Okay, the second tip I give you is that you're not playing with your screen, guys. You're not playing with the screen like when you play with other weapons. You're using the minimap 
to aim. Okay, here we go. Veer over there. Very strong flare there. Very strong flare. All right, here we go. Finishing it up. And there we go, guys. All right, I'm going to keep the gameplay short in this video. I think it's mostly about uh, with me talking in the beginning. And I think the simple gameplay tip here is pretty clear. It's, I hope it's crystal clear to you guys. And it's very helpful for any Rocky Mortar players. If you didn't know that tip, hopefully it's going to help you out. And that's pretty much it. 24 kills here in my tournament. Veer also got 15 kills on the opponent. Great play there. Anyways, guys, hope everyone has a great day. Hope this was helpful for you. And I'll see you guys in another tip or tourney run video in the coming days. Take care, guys. This was Honor Gaming.